Time for something different this week. Where are we, Stu? We're in Newark, Nottinghamshire, on the River Trent. And what's the place called? Bob's Island. Bobby's Island. <laughs> Big Bob's Island. We've been looking forward to this for a bit, haven't we? Oh my God, we couldn't work, could we? For a week <laughs> we've been new, we've known we're coming, or two weeks. And we're trying to get stuck into a bit of important work, what we have to do. <laughs> yeah, you just can't concentrate. Just can cannot you? concentrate. <laughs> Every five seconds. So, what are we going to use? What 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 food are we taking? <laughs> you can't stop. You can't stop talking about it, can you? Even the gaffer was talking about it, wasn't he? <laughs> so we got here last last night. It's Friday today, so we got here Thursday night. But we only got here late, so we didn't do any videoing as such. Uh, we only got here about half seven quarter to eight. I we think, were in the it? water, weren't we, for about half nine? Yeah. Set up just before babies. dark, literally quarter an hour before dark. So. Um, yeah, that's why we're doing this this morning. We've had, we've had a little bit of success, haven't we? Oh, we have. Especially you. We've had more success than we've had sleep. <laughs> yeah, we only went bed at, we only got bed at three. Uh, just trying to stay up, fishing through the dark a bit, and then we, we finally hit a wall, didn't we? Yeah, because Graham couldn't sleep after five o'clock, he decided to wake me up. <laughs> so I've had like two, well, no, I've actually had two fucking black runs, and that's, that woke me up, didn't it? Yeah. And a PB, PB roach. Yeah, yeah. So what what happened was we got here, cast in, and literally five minutes. Let me, I got my bream. Yeah, five minutes. <laughs> I didn't get a picture of it or anything because it escaped out the uh, net. While it was, it was a slab still, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's quite big, wasn't it? The still bream set, in this trend are massive. Still setting, still setting things up, were we, when it went? Yeah. So we got that bream, and then about an hour and a half, hour later or something. Yeah, an hour later. Yeah. I got this. Um, I got this barbel and this is me PB barbel. Me PB before this was about a pound and a half. So anything I was gonna catch here today was gonna to beat it, but yeah. So I got this this barbel. So here he is. Stuffy nuts. Old Higgum. Old Jigger man. AKA El Stuffio Nuttio with his first ever barbel over half a pound. We had it on a, what did you catch it on, an 8mm pellet? <laughs> nice. Beautiful fish mate, for your first ever fucking marble as well. Glad we've come here, innit? Got them little growths on it. Mm. So what do you reckon, Stu, not weighed it up? I reckon about, could go £9 that. Go on, let's have a proper look at her. It's had a, it's had a good rest, has not it? Good rest. <sighs> Oh, it's Look at that. You happy with that, lad? Oh, yes. Just hey, and, and this lad here was saying to me, I don't know whether I'm into river fishing. I, I never <laughs> seem to do any good. He's had a bream, a missed run, and then that. We've, been, we've only been here two or three hours. I know, yeah. We have, haven't we? Just two or three hours. Look at that. Hey, Stu, I'm happy with that, mate. I, I fought be. like a trooper as well. Fought like a trooper. Oh, what a lovely fish for your first ever barbel over half a pound, mate. <laughs> oh, that one was about well a pound, done. wasn't it? Well done, mate. Right, I'm going to get this back. Are you waiting it? I will do, I'm going to give it another minute. Man. Yeah. I'm going to get my scales. The time of the weighing. What will she weigh? There goes his first barbel weighage. So we've got nine... 30 in the, in the sling. 932 in the sling. Right, I'll go and release it. Go and release the girl. Let's give it a minute, Gray. Oh, no, yeah. Have a look, it's been rested on there. Anyway, well. I can't get. Should have, I've got my wellies, mind you. Up, so That's up. about 8 foot deep at the edge. Uh. No, that, I can stand on that. Alright. Ready. Is it ready? There she goes. Whoosh. Well done, mate. Super, mate. On me, on me first night on the other What a little barbel that is for you, for your, well, your second barbel ever. Yeah. And new PB. Yeah. And then I think, did, did you get a, I think you got your... I got a small one then, didn't I, about £6. Yeah, you got your, you got this one. We, we, did, we just filmed the fish. 
and that was it last night. So we got this one. Stu's turn now, Stu's turn. Literally five minutes after putting that back, I just opened me, had a swig of beer, and his rod's gone. First barbell. Literally on this peeled rod. off that then, didn't it, Stu? Yeah, first barbell I've had on this rod. Oh. I can take my shrink wrap off me. Off yeah, me. still got your shrink wrap on because he won't take it off because he's a bit weird. No, you know, don't take it off until you're kind of bending that lovely rod. I can't, I can't pick it up, it's. Well, I can just. Is it pulling? Sure it's clicking, I can see your spill going round. Come on. Oh, come on, bad boy. It's what? It's not put me into a snag. Oh no, I don't say it snagged you. We're back with Stu, I'm not sure if it's still on or not. He's fishing, I'll show you tomorrow, but he's fishing close to some reeds. How far off of the reeds are you? About, literally about four foot. Four foot. I'm going to move out the way. Bite's still going, still going, it's giving him grief. <laughs> Put your spills turning. You can see your spill going a little bit. Is it? Oh, it's going. They get close in, don't they? And then they take off like cats. It's over here somewhere. I guess. Yeah, I can't. There. There's some feeder. Yeah, I won't, I won't be able to see that. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Come on, Stuzy. Oh, it's a good one. You know the actual. Where you're netting these, he's getting them past your net and then let, and then rip, let the flow drift let them in. Drift back into your net. It's easier said than done. I saw that on uh, that Bob and Mortimer thing. Bob, not Bob and Mortimer, what call Mortimer White House. It's not, it's not as big as yours. Oh, I don't know, you can't tell. Yeah, oh, get it, <laughs> get, get it, get it, <laughs> Nice one. I do it get mad but you've got no hands free. Boosh. Hands <laughs> free. There we are, let's have a look at Stewie's. Let's turn my light down a minute and go. So the first one of the campaign. First one of the year for me this. Yeah, first, just first come a bit barbell. closer Stu because it's the light. First barbell of the season. Okay. For me. Look at that bad boy. How big do you reckon that also one is? Up as well, look at, look at that. About six, eh? Six. Not Five, a bad start, six. is it? Not a bad start, is it? We'll wait in a minute. Dorsal in the air, like that. I know, lovely. Give a good little scrap for a bloody five, oh, six man. pound fish, don't they? It took me around snags and everything, didn't it? All yeah. Split, say. <laughs> Sound. Good do, yeah. We literally took a swig of beer, didn't we? And said, you said, oh, made up for you again. That fish and yours went uh, <laughs> and straight off. Screened off, didn't it? Yeah. So I'll take it. Yep. Have a look at the other side. Let me move this a bit closer, it's a bit of shit. Light. Head torch isn't the best when you're peeling. Just lift it up a bit more. Just lift it up higher. It's hard getting your face in. No, that's it. Standing proud, that thing, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Well, hopefully a few more tonight, Stu. Hopefully a few. Let's get her back, eh? Yeah. There she goes. She's about ready now. Number two. Well, barbell number two. Fish number three. There we go. See you later, girl. Lovely. Well, what did I promise you, Graham? You did say when you catch one, the shrink wrap's coming off your handle. Oh, listen, it's got to come off now. Otherwise, I'll not catch any more. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Nicely does that, Stu. You're only taking you that for one? Keep, you know, until, yeah, absolutely. If I get another fish tonight on the other one, there you go. Never keep the shrink wrap on a christened rod. And never, ever, ever 
take it off an unchristened rod. I always do. Do you? Is that why I'm that's crap? That's why you crap. <laughs> that's why, is that why I catch eels? <laughs> that's why we call you Bobbins <laughs> Graham. <laughs> Not stuffy nuts. Not stuffy nuts, right. <laughs> I'll stuff one well, nut all. <laughs> Proper little rocket though, a little yeah, yeah, yeah. torpedo. I think it wasn't long after again, was it? You got another one. Yeah, I, did. I got a bream. Yeah, I, I got a bream. I got another bream, and then um, you got. I got a smaller one, then didn't I? Uh, about yeah. five pound. Again, a little rocket, perfect little fish torpedo, but nothing oh, special. I think that was like two in the morning or something. Yeah, wasn't it? but on light rods, they're just amazing, aren't they? Yeah, I'm only give fishing it, two and a half pound. Give a cracking little fight, like. Get in, man. And the best thing is, Stu, what's the best thing about it? I can take my cork handle off. <laughs> yes. And your your head torch in my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, turn it off, though. The fucking video goes off. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Stu. I'll give me a rod. Go and sort that out. So Stu's prize. A little rocket. Little Ronnie, Ronnie Rocket. Not big by anyone's accounts, but perfect, eh? Give you a good little scrap, actually, oh, for the man. size of it. Little, <laughs> they're, unbe- they're mad, aren't they? They are mad, little fish. It must have got straight in the flow. How big do you reckon that is? Like, it's only three pound, isn't it? Three but, pound or something. Yeah, it didn't have to give you a little pull. Tugged your line a bit, didn't it? Yeah. Sound. That's two, three fish now, three barbel. Last time we come on here, we had an out, didn't we? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. early winter light, but anyway, superb meter. Proper little rockets, aren't they? Yeah, hopefully we'll get a few more. We're going to try and stay up as late as we can, aren't we? And yeah. keep feeding and fishing hard. We can always have a snooze feeding it morning. And fishing, does that mean feeding ourselves and fishing? <laughs> feeding ourselves, yeah. We went to bed. I, had a, I think you had a bream during the night. I didn't see it, did I? Because I was in bed. I did, yeah. You had a bream in the night. I had two bloody... Well, I thought there were runs, but I think it was crap on the line because the level's coming up in it and it's gone a bit faster, the river. I think has. a bit of weed was coming down and it's hit my line. So I jumped out thinking thinking it was a run and struck into it. Then just found a load of weed on my line. But anyway. And then, and this then, morning. And then. And then some. And then. <laughs> and then this morning. I got up because I was, I'll show you, I was in the swim next to me because this point was taken one side of it so Stu jumped on the point and I had the one next to him a little swim which was a bit of a nightmare because it a bit was tight for you, wasn't a bit it? tight and a bit steep broad shouldered man like yourself yeah, yeah 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 not easy to maneuver in that <laughs> space is it so I moved swims I was moving my bivy bivy up bivy over and um, I woke him up messing around and just as I woke him up his rod peeled off didn't it peeled off and um, he got this fish which it was an absolute steam train wasn't it it was how long did it take to get in a while I stopped videoing for a bit didn't it started and stopped because it was taking ages it must have been five minutes that yeah so this is Stu's new PB we said it we didn't know but it it was so the story of the (laughs) the story of the tape was I have thought for the last two years that my PB was 11 and a half but unbeknown to myself I've just flicked back through my Instagram post and my new P- and my old PB is 11 um, so we didn't think it had made a PB because it, it made 11 5 6 didn't it yeah something like that. yeah I think it's 11 5 6 so we thought no no way it's, it's just under the PB so when I scroll back through my posts my old PB was 11 so get in new, new PB, PB 11 5 6 and a little chunk yeah it was a cracker that one I thought it was bigger to be honest Cracker it fought clear. like hell, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so where's that fish? Cause bloody cracker, wasn't it? Yeah. And in daylight as well, so we got some decent picks and that. Yeah. So that's it's always it. better having one in the day, isn't it? Yeah. First daytime bite. Dead early in the morning. Not got a clue what time it is. Probably half six or something like that. I'm just in the process of moving swims, which we'll explain later. Oh, well, this isn't a dream. No, it's not a bream, is it? <laughs> Good job I woke you up there, wasn't it, Stu? Yeah. It's took you all the way down there.
things from fucking line back now. Third Bible, Stu. Yeah. Third Bible. Fucking hell. Oh, it's going now. Don't want it to go with them trees. They'll be ruining my swim. Not far to go now, Stu. He knows it as well. <laughs> There's the man himself. He's going to have a big smile on his face in a minute. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a good fish, he says. He's just seen it. I was facing the other way. Oof. i seen it. Looks a nice one, Stu. Make sure you net this well. Marble sucks. I don't use them barbless ones, I usually use them barbless ones. <laughs> that blank on Barbless. Barbless. <laughs> Oof. Could be a good one. It looks it looked a decent one then, didn't it? I'm not putting any pressure on you, I'm just doing uh, not much. Oh it's nice that. It's a double eye, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's a good fish that. And it's pulling now. Oh that's a good one, that's G. Could be a PB buster. Come on, where I are you? I so wish you could drop your feeder when you knew it was a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. God, Stu, come on. Doesn't want to come in, does it? Go on, go on, lad. Looks like a man under pressure. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's teasing. <laughs> Jesus, he won't come in. It's a good one, isn't it? I know it is. I've seen it, I've seen the thing of it underwater at Silhouette though. Well, that's a good one, though. Go on. You'll be alright. Get in that man! <laughs> There's a happy Get man! There's night. a happy man! Oh, me rock, I'm gonna walk it down to your swing. 14, 8, Let's have a look. 14, 8, 8. This is, this is without it being old, isn't it? Yeah. 14, 14, 88. Oh no, 80, 4, 8, 2. 40, 82. 14, 82. Does it, yeah. does it stop when it swings? Uh, I don't know, I never leave it long enough. 14, 14 82. Right, we'll, we'll wear the sling in a sec. Well, this can only mean one thing. What can this mean for him? What can that mean? That means it's a decent one <laughs> and it's been resting and it could be a new PB for you this year. PB buster. PB buster. Or, or close to. It's definitely a double. It's got to be. Oh, it when I've seen it. A well, if your PB is 11 summer, then it's, it's going to be bloody beaten, I think. Well rested indeed, he do. How long do you reckon it's rested for? 20 minutes? 20 minutes, I've moved my bivvy and everything, haven't I? Yeah. I'm in new, new spot. Yeah, 
You excited, Stu? Not weighed it though, yeah, have we? No. But we'll have a look at it first and then we'll weigh it and see um, do what the score is. Oh. Oh, it's exciting, Stu. Let me get a better angle, angle dangle. Oh, that looks mint, that, doesn't it? Big dash, Stu. The sun's, it should go the other way, really, because the sun's, Funny. sun's that way, if you know what I mean. Get Lovely bar of gold. What a beauty. What a beauty, Stu. Biggest barbel I've ever seen. Maybe your biggest barbel you've ever seen. Get away. Look at that. For sure. Yeah. Ain't yeah. Perfect. Shame about the angler. <laughs> oh, how dare you, sir. <laughs> That's lovely, that. Just spin it around to the, like that way a bit more. That's it. Go there. Do you want the other side that you're not bothered? There's a lump in it. I don't mind catching that, Stu. Oui, yep. Nice. Right. I think we should give it another minute and then wait, uh, wait, eh? Yeah, old warrior. Let's have a look at the matter quick. Lovely, aren't it? What do you reckon? I think it's close now, I've seen it. Oh, it's exciting to see if you've got a new PB in it. And we weigh in a minute. Sling. Look at that. Look at that bad girl. Is it a bad girl or a bad boy? I don't know. Fucking old warrior, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely. We could do a couple more like that today, couldn't we, and tonight? Jesus, what a session that'd be. Smashes my eight pounder. <laughs> well, Stu, we've just weighed the, um, the net, haven't we? Or the, the yeah. rook, what's it called? The way sling, I <laughs> couldn't remember that. And it was 11 pound 56. No, so 32. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, sorry, the, the, no, the thingy was, the fish, obviously, yeah, did so three the, pound. Yeah, the, the, the wasteling was 3.26. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so the fish weighed, the fish ended up 11.56. And what's your PB? 11.5, but, <laughs> but, but it's analog. On an analog scale, so, so it's you can't really say. I'm, listen, it's close, isn't it? I'm happy to catch it. Bloody hell. I'd be buzzing. It was a lump, it was a lovely fish. I thought it was bigger than that, mate, I'll be listen, honest. We could, we're here for another day and a half, so yeah. we could end up snagging something a bit better. Superb, mate. Well, that made the trip for me, that. Yeah. That and your bream. So this was my swim last night, that little swim there, which he had me eight pounder from, but the guy on the point was packing up. So we've stew fished here last night. He was on this swim, which is part of the point. And the other guy was fishing here. So I've jumped in here about six o'clock this morning, half six, when I woke Stu up and he had his, um, his new PB. So cracking, um, cracking swim. Just, just nice being here, isn't it, Stu? Yeah. Um, Your rod's just melted off about how long ago? Yeah, ten minutes. Ten minutes yeah, so I'd, I've had my rods in there for, I don't know what time it is, but probably a couple of hours now, an hour and a half. And my left rods just screamed off and I pulled into it, and nothing. I was gutted. But gives you a bit of confidence on the ground you're fishing, doesn't it? Yeah. At least, at least my bait might be in the right area because I wasn't very confident, am I? Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. nice to know that you're not fishing in three inches of water, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, cracking views, castle in the background, that's all lit up of the night, I'll show you later, it looks looks great. And um, I think, Stu, you're fishing against them... Um, on one of each willow. Yeah, that willow, and then there's another one just to the right. He's fishing both them willows, I'm fishing the, like, on the crease there, going towards the post, the halfway. That's where I had me run from. So yeah, 
all good. We just need a date, another daytime fish would be nice, wouldn't it, Stu? Yeah. So we have got a little bit of a plan for today, haven't we, Stu? Yeah. Because if the barbels, well, it's going to slow down and things. Quite bright today now. It's yeah, going the nice, sun's come it? out. It's just gone in behind clouds and now it's come out again. So I think what we're going to do is set a feeder rod up and um, have a little mess around with some maggots and corn. And I think I brought a little pot of worms as well, you know. Oh, yeah. Perch. So just going to try and catch some bits and bobs, I think, because we've got a bit of slack water in front of us there. I um, wouldn't mind catching even a small barbel, three pound, two pound, on the backwater. Oh yeah. Um, with me, me um, method feeder rod. With something like a two ounce tip on. Yeah, I, I don't think I want a barbel because I've only got two or three. I can't remember. It's two or three pound line on. So I just want to try and catch some bits, some um, maybe a bream or something like that, and some nice roach mm. and whatever. So I might, we might do a little bit of bit fishing in a, an hour or so. Just add some brekkie, haven't we? A bit yeah. late on the breakfast. Uh, yeah. We've got uh, some blackberries on tap as well, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. The biggest blackberries I've ever seen, and I'm a bit of a blackberry connoisseur. <laughs> so I've just had a couple of handfuls inside my porridge. Yeah. Yeah. To liven it up a bit, because my wife bought me plain ones. Plain porridges. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sarah. Hey, at least she bought it. Yeah. This is a good one. Well, it was quite nice and chilled last night, wasn't it? Once we finally got in the water and that, we stayed up. We had a couple of beers, didn't we? Oh yeah. And then um, just went to bed and chilled. Just had no sleep, so I'm gonna do a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of fishing, I think. And then I'm gonna have to get my head down for a couple of hours later. So I'm not knackered tonight because we want to be up again tonight, don't we? Yeah. Uh, so we got here Thursday night, and we're only going home either Saturday early morning because you got. 7 o'clock is 7 till 7 and then 7 till 7 when you have to pay. So we're either going to get off for 7 o'clock on Saturday morning or we're going to stay till like maybe 3 or 4 o'clock on the Saturday afternoon. But we're going to see how the daytime bites go, aren't we? Yeah. If we don't get anything during the day now, it might not be worth it, might it? No, but if we wake up on Saturday and it's overcast and the weather says it's going to stay yeah, overcast, yeah. it might be worth. And we've had a few fish in the night or something. Yeah, it might be worth having a kip yeah ready for home Mike so we're, we're driving home fresh um, and yeah seeing if we, it can produce a bite while it's overcast because that's the science behind it isn't it yeah, yeah. but you just had a screaming running full sun <laughs> it full sun it was full right sun right in the middle of the river so that's good <laughs> that's good so yeah I'm just gonna, gonna go and um, I'm gonna make a brew actually because I only had one coffee this morning and then um, Probably I'm going to set our feeder gear up and see if we can catch some bits. If we get out, we'll show you. Well, there he is. Mr. Higgum just had an absolute screamer of a run. And I mean a screamer of a run. It pulled the tripod over and just totally obliterated the whole setup. We both jumped off. We were bit fishing. There's my bit fishing setup there. There's Graham's and we both jumped up and grabbed a leg each of the tripod because the tripod was literally on the front two legs and lifted up in the air about six foot and the fish was just screaming straight down towards them, the castle. We don't know what it is yet. We haven't got a clue what it is yet. Obviously we're thinking and we're hoping it's a barbel, but we don't know. We have to rethink that set up <laughs> Definitely. I'd get the um, the tripod further up the bank so it's not leaning forward. Have yeah. you spotted it yet? No. Daytime bite, bite, Graham's first daytime barbel. Yeah, she's in the bag. Three and a half pound test curve rod there, bent in half, look. And you've got it in slack water there. Have you seen the fish yet? It don't matter, just get it in, we'll sort that out. Do you want me to bring the bit rod in? 
Is it over the top of it now, yeah? Oh, it's a good one. Your bottom went. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, uh, it'll be alright, we'll sort that out in a minute. Lovely. Isn't it amazing how something like that just rips a, fu a full tripod, two rods? <laughs> My heart was going boom, 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 boom. Hey. Again. <laughs> He's an egghead. <laughs> Oh, that, I just can't believe we just caught that. Oh, I'm only missing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've just had a bit of action. As you probably see on the, um, the fight footage, we just about made it to Graham's rod because it ripped off and the whole tripod lifted up in the air <laughs> literally scary. the whole tripod lifted up in the air uh, it, we both jumped and grabbed a leg each of the tripod i think i've got a bream on me on my rod it's just nodding so i'm gonna have to tend to that in a minute but graham has got this here yeah about three or four pounds eh Three and a half pound in it, Gray. Yeah, but what a rocket! It bloody what a rocket! What a place to catch a fish as well. Look, there's Newick Castle in the Newark background. Castle in the background. Castle in the background. Nice. He's fishing on the point. What a place to catch a lovely fish. Just in open water as well, like not even tight up to it. Right in open water, full sun. Well, I'm breaking my barbel duck anyway. Well, before he came today, it had one barbel at about three quarters of a pound. It was more a tadpole, wasn't it, Gray? Yeah. And you lost a good one that last session, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Um, we didn't do too, we've not done too well on the Trent, to be honest with you. Every time we've come up here, this is our best. By miles. By miles. <laughs> we've both had PBs. Um, and we've had more barbel than we've ever had in a session. I think we're probably on. How many barbel would you say we're on now, Gray? You've had three and I've had two. I've had three, you've had two, yeah. And a load of bream. And Graham had a roach. Oh yeah, and we're doing some bit fishing as well. He's had a few gudgeon, um, a few perch. I've not had anything on the bit rod yet because as you always, when I get into full swing, Graham ruins it by playing a fish in my swim. It takes all my rods out. now listening for beeps <laughs> that won't go anywhere now no. not with your, your contraption so <laughs> let's have a look what graham's done to to counter counteract the rod pod going in he's put a foundation from a house on the end of the pod it's a good idea to be fair oh look at that one's on my lines Jake. Half a tree. oh god it's all right. At least you've got the bait out there and you can get some more out, can't you? All right, we're letting it go. Just hold her by the tail. I've definitely got a bream on that left-hand rod. Why do they always go put the head in the net? They always Muppets, can't do it, don't they? You can't see everything. They're always to him into the feeding net. There she goes. Strong as an ox. Well, what can I say? The curse of El Stuffo Nutto again. He's only just put one back. I'm baiting my rod up. 
and his other rod's screened off. He is right in the, the, the hot swim. And he was moaning yesterday saying I took the best swim. I think what I should do is offer him that swim back and take this swim. This one's not coming in like the other one. Good. Just stay in there knowing the flow. Just hold it. Still mate. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna bully it because I've only on ten pound. I think you should bully at me. <laughs> well, like you did at Like I did with Ghosty. <laughs> That top pool <laughs> left me devastated for the full night. I'm still wounded about that. Come on, lad. Oh, it's good in it, fighting on a river. Yeah, amazing. What was you saying before we, um, on our way down here? If I blank this time, I'm never coming again. Because he's that used to blanking on the rivers, but I think he's had an absolute killer of a session you're locked up give it time so he's just locked up oh you out oh he's on again he's on again yes old stuff oh nutto old stuffy nuts Oh, I hope you foul up to it because that doesn't count, does it? <laughs> yeah, it will today. For some reason, every time I foul up something, it doesn't count. Come on, get it in, Gray. No. I don't like it. It feel good. We've not even had a glimpse yet, have we? Oh, when they stay deep, that can only mean one thing. They like it deep. <laughs> oh yeah, sturgeon. Oh yeah, this this sturgeon and cats come out of this uh, swim as well. Carp would be nice, anything would be nice. When it's fighting like that, it's, it's a good fish. Come on, let's have a look at it. Oh, it's a barbel. It's a barbie. Oh yeah, so Graham, bit fishing, putting his uh, bits, what he's catching, his gudgeons and that in my net there. Next thing, he shouts me, Stu. I said, What? He said, Your net, my net's floating down the river, down there. Down like the he expects me, like he expects me to run from my swim and grab my net, what he's put there, and, and drops in the river. Well done, great. Another one, hey, Another one. three each. <laughs> Better than um, blankety blank, but last four times I've been out, haven't I? Doing well today, mate. You're doing oh, yes. well. Let's daytime this, as well. Plenty of daytime. Get that bait going in, eh? Yep. All right, take camera off. <laughs> so what's this, Gray? Fish number three. Fish number three. Fish number six. Fish number six yeah, of the yeah. session. Fish number three for Graham. Had three apiece. About the same size again, would you say, Gray? Of course, yeah. We didn't think we would, did we? We was a bit worried about the daytime. Yeah, it looks it, doesn't it? We was a bit uh, worried, weren't we? Yeah. 
love a pristine barbel. I love a pristine barbel in the backdrop of Newick Castle. Lift it up a bit. Lift it up. Oh, look at oh, that. Okay. You couldn't ask for better than that. Shot. You couldn't ask for better than that. <laughs> That's the money shot. That's the money shot. There she I'm is. enjoying this barbel fishing now, Stu. <sighs> very torn whether to come ever again <laughs> I did tell you you'd get hooked on it didn't you once you had a couple yeah. Lovely, aren't they? amazing you can see why they call them a bar of gold can't you yeah. Ooh, lovely. Okay. lift it up oh. Sound. perfect hopefully a few more to come Stu I can't believe I'm saying that <laughs> I'm usually like I need a bite I need a bite Let's give it a quick release. Good. Should be alright, it's been resting while we've done the rods on it. It's only been out for 30 seconds on it. to go. Whoosh. <laughs> no wrong with that one. Stu's into his fourth fish, but he says it feels like a dead weight, we're not sure what's going on. We literally just said let's have an hour's kip, because um, we're knackered and we had like two or three hours sleep. Uh, I woke up now on it, and um, I literally lay back then, and then his, and his rods just screamed off. How mad's that? That literally was ten seconds, Stu, I lay back then. Is it waking up now? Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. <laughs> Been a bit slow at it for the last this is, two. This feels heavy, mate. Does it? Heavy. But whether or not that flows picks up. You don't know, do you? It feels heavy, mate. Like I can't lift it. Oh. Oh, it could be another good one. Fucking steam train, I know that much. Is that rod? Nice. Where about are you out? I can't see your line. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah. That was out of nowhere, wasn't it? It's been Just quiet. Being so quiet. It's, what is it? Two o'clock-ish. I think it's two o'clock-ish, yeah, isn't it? Not that any action or nothing. Done a bit of bit fishing, haven't we, for the last hour? That's what I'm doing. Catching a few roach. Trying to take it, isn't it? Oh, it's taking it. Oh, there's a bit of weed on though. Ah, oh, it's still on. Oh, no. I don't know. No, what I'm saying is there's a bit of weed on. Something. Yeah, I know. Could be why it feels so heavy. Who knows? But a fish is a fish, isn't it? If we get one, it's more than last time we come here. You can't like bully him, can you? You just have to hold and just wait for him to like to get like a bit of line on him and then. No, could be a good one this, Stu. Oof, not a bad one, Stu. Ho ho. It's producing the bigger fish that side, isn't it? It's another. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, is it going to be another PB Buster? I 
That is a good one. I'm always trying to go deep. Oh, look at that, Stu. As big as the I think it might be bigger. Fuck off. Oh. oh, God, look at the head on it. Look at your head on it. <laughs> well, I never. Go on, Stu. Go on, lad. Swam into you for your net for you then, didn't it? I think that's, yeah, I don't know. I've only been a lot used to seeing mine, so I don't know. Oh, look how wide it is. Look at that, look at that happy man, that. How wide it is. Right, let's, right, hang on, let's stop the vid. Well, Stu, do we think we've got a special fish there? I think. I think it's like a 13 or something around that mark. Another PB, 100%. That's bigger than 11 and a half, that. Yeah. Defo. We're not where to look to it properly yet, have we? No, no, I'm just going to get this rod out. We'll just rest it in the sling there. He's brought his sling, so just rest it in there for a minute. I'm going to set everything up so we don't keep it out of the water too long, but yeah. This looks a cracker, an absolute cracker. Uh, Stu with his net busting fish. How, how big is it, Stu, with, this, with the net? 1760. 1760, so I reckon that's about 13 pounds. 1766. Might just be just over 13, I can't remember. It's definitely, it was three point yeah, something. 1762. I think it's just over 13, though, off the top of my head. 1762. What? It's huge, it's huge, Stuart. <laughs> That's what it is, it's huge. Take away, it's about 14 pounds. No, it's fair, it was three pounds, some 17. 1762, three. remember that? Oh, well, it could be 14, yeah. 14 pounds it is. Well, 1762, and then we'll measure the, we'll weigh this. Oh, well, he's excited, this. I can tell. Two PBs in one day. Oh my wordy woo. Look at the belly on it, and the bloody barbel. Cracker, innit? Turn it round, that's it. That's it. Nice, Stuart. That is what you come for, innit, Stu? This is what we came for. Exactly. We reckon it's about £14. Yeah, we? we're just going to double check in a minute. Going off what the sling weighed last time, if we remember right. What, it looks like a big salmon. It does. <laughs> back on it. <laughs> oh. oh yes, Stuart. This is going to be a PB to beat for me this week. It's going to take you ages, isn't it? Nice, nice mate. We'll go off and get some decent pics of this. Yeah. Wow. Good video. Look at, look at belly on it. Right, we're getting some pics. Yeah, that's cool. Imagine that, like, before spot like like in another two months. Yeah. That'd be like a sixteen or something, wouldn't it? Let me just go around the other side of that. Just have a quick look at it. Boy. Yeah. It looks big on the map, doesn't it? Beast that isn't it? Yeah. Wow. I didn't think I was gonna see something so big this trip. You said you want to do your PB, you've done it twice. Get some pickies. Yeah, yeah, All right, sorry. I think you should get title of stuffy nuts now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can have stuffy nuts now. To be honest, Stu. You pretty much deserve it. You have fished quite a lot from, haven't you? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's gone. They didn't even get to see. Did you film it? Yeah, I filmed oh. it. We did see out. No, no. Yeah, they don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't say out. Didn't see out. <laughs> well, you're well going home, happy, aren't you? Two PBs. 
two PBs. Three PBs, because you've got a PB. Yeah, yeah. You don't give a shit if you blank now, no, do you? <laughs> Neither of us. Well, don't blank, but you don't get anything else now. Stuart's just getting over the shock, aren't you, Stuart? I can't believe it. What was it in the end? Tell him. £14.56. No, 14.3 you said. Oh, 14.36 pounds. <laughs> 14. Not got another run, have you? His lamb's going. 14.36 pounds. And Stuart, Stuart, what a way to crit in your new rods. <laughs> oh my God. You couldn't ask for a better session. Probably the best, biggest barbel I'm ever going to catch. Probably. And you've bought your PB twice in You don't one. catch 14 pound barbels lightly do you? No. So what a session we're turning out to have. Um, just about to go to sleep. Just had my PB barbell at £13.36 and then Graham's rod screams off. He's got a pike. <laughs> On purpose. On purpose. Only Graham could have a bloody pike. We had a pike last time we came in. Oh. We had a pike last time we came here didn't we Gray? I didn't expect that. He, he had a pike. So we'll deal with this and then we'll show you. So here he is. El Stuffus Nutus. First pike of the year. First wrong, pike of the year. Long time of year, like, but who cares? So. Stuck a, a cheeky dead bait out. Just for a few hours, I thought. I'll a couple it. of hours, and had that beautiful marking you pike. Blinding one double, eye. Scrape a double or just under? I reckon about eight pound, me. Yeah. Yeah. I Get it weighed then? I reckon about yeah, eight I'm pound. Not, not but it's a lovely fish all the same. Is Look it? at the markings on it. Turn it over. He likes a good pike, don't you? Lift it up. Is this my first river pike? Lift it up. Yeah, it's your first river pike. Oh, maybe I will just realise that. Lift it up. Up a bit more. Hell, I want to get that, that castle in, like, because I had one last year, didn't we? We had the castle yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Lovely. Yeah, Let's try and get another one. Live a little sod on it. <laughs> I tell you what, they fight more in summer. You have to be quick on your rods though. You didn't want to swallow it eight. So. Don't let the fry it, man, do you? Yeah. Better thinking, what the freaking hell is that big thing? Feel his back tenting up. <laughs> that was a bit of a turn up for the books, wasn't it? Yeah. Middle of the day. Not having a bad session, are we? No. <laughs> First river bike. <laughs> PB river bike. <laughs> Still there, it's just chilly. Soaking, isn't it? Doing well there, Stuart. <laughs> Thinks he's rare mares, don't you? No, the success to a good fire is. What? A lighter. <laughs> lighter and wood. Mikey O'Sullivan, number two. Whoa, whoa. Go on, do a tail walk for us. Wake up a bit more than it went to go. 
Yep. Go on, give us a tail walk. Well done, that man. Been better on the pipe than the barbel. <laughs> da 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 da. Start walking. So here he is again, Pikey O'Sullivan. Loves his pike. This is the third one he's hooked up today, but he's only had two on the bank. One of them escaped his burly jowls. Well rested, as you can see, yeah, long. I'm just amazed how green they are. It's obviously because they're coming out of that streamer weed and it's green. Look how green they are. Long and thin, isn't it? Mm. When you get a reservoir pipe, they're not like that, are they? No. River piker. Well, tried all. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Well rested. Oh, look at that. What it spat out. Alright. All last year, tried for a river pike and none, and got two today. Two today and, oh, shit, and a hook up. That, that made me jump then, because it's spiky. It's got a bit of damage there. That made me jump. I thought, what's that? I thought it was a treble or something. Is this one a bit bigger, a bit chunky? This yeah, one? it looks it, doesn't it? Longer. Could be a double, could be a double this one. Yeah, it Isn't looks it? a bit longer. Yeah. Lift it up level. I hate that when you can feel a pulse under mm. its chin. I don't like it. Go on, lift it up. It's gonna go this. It's not happy. Oh, I've got to hold it now. That's it. That's where we want to be. Lovely colours on there, isn't it? Beautiful colours. Lovely colours. Look at that. Backdrop of Newick Castle. Oh, a nice yes. river pike. Yes. I'm gonna try and get another Caught one. Caught by a river pikey. So I'm gonna try and get another one. Do you reckon that is about nine? Yeah, yeah. It feels heavier than the other one. Look at that. Look at that mad girl. Lovely. Right. Release. Right, on that. Let's get her back. A little. Yeah, do you know when you put your finger watch a little dorsal. And you can feel the pull. Yeah, yeah. Like and it. you know they're going to go, don't you? I just don't like it. I don't like when it happens. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Dirty little pike. How come they're not pulling the back out of the water? Oh, are you? El Bacchus. Like the other place. Well, would you, Adam and Eve it? We've just had tea. Had a little rebate each. As you can see, Graham's a bit swollen there from his tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too much. He's like an egg eating snake. The egg's stuck in it halfway down the python. Um, so he's just hooked into another screaming barbel. And again, he didn't even notice it and it merely pulled the rod in. I've got to be careful tonight. Well, but I don't care. First action since whatever. Oh, we got a little glimpse of it then. <laughs> Just seen a little flash. Little flash. There's a little flash of um, amber. It don't matter. It shows you the back on the feed. We've not had one since. You had that big one. What time did I have the big one? One o'clock, yeah. And we're on now. Seven. Eight o'clock, quarter to eight. So it sells us that. Now it's going a little bit dull. They're coming back on the feed.
There she is. Not up, is he? They just know how to just turn off the net, don't they? Oh, nicely done. That was how you do it. Bring it upstream. Let it float into the net. How many is that for Graham now? Four each. Four each, we've had eight being, barbel. You're just being slightly bigger than mine. Eight barbel, it doesn't matter, size, in, we're not bothered about size, all we're bothered about is experience and getting them on the bank. Size doesn't matter. It's really waking up, isn't it? Yeah. I'll give it a minute anyway. Yeah, just please, when you're giving it a minute, keep your army net. <laughs> oh, you bitch. So, as evening draws in, Graham tags another one. First one we've had since dinner time. Um, what does that look size that, Stu? You're the five, expert. six. Something like that. Yep. Same as what before ish. Yeah. Lovely fish again. A little bit of a scar on it there, isn't it? Yeah. Probably hit by a pike when it was young. Um, but beautiful fish again, look. Fish out, yeah, hold it up a little bit. That's the one. Streamlined, aren't they? Streamlined. So Nearly pulled his rod in again. <laughs> I've loosened it off now. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Can't wait to come back at the winter and see if we can catch them a bit, bit bigger, a bit heavier. Four barbel and two pike. Four barbel, two three, pike. Yeah, we're bad. Loads of roach. Four barbel each, loads of little bits and bream, roach, and then Graham's had um, two pike and lost one pike. Yeah. Down, mate. Hopefully a few more tonight, eh? Yeah. Hope so. I really hope so. Let's get a cracking. let's get a release video. We're a cracking session, we? we are. We just had a good feed, haven't we? Yeah. It's relying, mate. It's still uh, I'm not reeled it in yet. Is it? Just underneath. Underneath it. She's ready to go back anyway, isn't she? She's been she resting be. for time. Really up, so I don't really want to. I'll cup her out like on the pole. <laughs> Tell me we've eaten it. Just shows you the importance of resting them, doesn't it? On a river. Because you don't rest them like that, you let them go in the flow. They end up just floating down on the back and it's the end of a minute. Can you spin that round from there? Rather yeah. than me move around here. I think it needs turning on its front. Sink it, sink it. You know, they start kicking, don't they? Yeah. I think they're looking for a pike, aren't they? Taking a while, isn't it? It's ready to go, that's just. Is it? Yeah. There she goes. Boom. Just me being a bit of a Because you'd rested it for 10 minutes before <laughs> we even took the pictures. And the pictures were only quick.
the big man here. <laughs> That's just small had one. <laughs> his last run of the night before, before we bed. go to bed. And what a clunker. A new personal best. Hold it up, Grey. New personal best roach. <laughs> Hold it up. Whoa. Would you look at that? But what a little specimen, though. That's like the one he had at Malkin, isn't it? Not that. the same size. How good's that though? Thinking oh, that that could yeah. he, that could end up being a fifteen pounder. Got little cell. Got a dorse on it. Oh. <laughs> it's got Burping. a cough. I think it's got a cough. It's just had a few beers, hasn't it? Hello. Oh, he's going over there. Right, let's get this back. <laughs> on, it's been resting for like twenty minutes, but that's all. Of, <laughs> what a pound. Yeah, it's like the one he had at Malkin, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go and get this back, eh? Come on in, let's do a little release video with the old girl. Why is it making that squeaking noise? Just wants to go back, doesn't he? He's had enough of you, don't like you. They've never done that before. Little ones probably do. Yeah, they do. Don't fry though, in margins. Oh! Oh! A couple of little fish oh, there. What are they doing? What are they doing in there? Under, oh. Oh. Skimmers. He's ready to go back in. We've been resting it for time anyway. Yeah, I'm going to take it out. I don't want to get with him. I need my skins to go. <laughs> what? Oops. Yeah. Hold it down. This will go with a kick there. Push <laughs> anyway. Both you. Cheers. Right. Soaking me before bed. <laughs> right, let's get bed. Higgy wiggy doo da. Stew da for sleepy doo da. <laughs> Oh, it's a good, uh, Graham. Yeah, might weigh it, to be honest. It might be a I want to see what you think. It's not, it's not as small as the other ones. No. It's not quite like the proper look, yet. What do you think? Stuart, what do you think? Um. Well, it's going to cost nothing to weigh it, is it? No, I mean it. They don't fucking. Do you think that it weighs, Jake? I reckon it's a probably. Oh, you got to weigh it. Do you think it's going to be close? I'm saying nine pound. Oh, it could be close to me, PB. Yeah, I reckon it. I reckon it's it's heavier than eight and a half. That one's only eight, man. Just under eight. What's it? Does it feel heavier? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It could be a new PB for me. Just 12.38. So 2.36. 3.26. 3.9, just over 9. Yes, lad. Yeah. Thought it was close, that's why I was up in the sling. Yes, new PB. I said nine, did I? Oh. So, 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 so we were weighing Graham's PB. Nine pound one. Nine pound one, one ounce. So it's his PB. And then this happened. This little one tore off. A little rocket, Ronnie, rocket face. Oh, flippy. Nearly enough, I had a double hooker. Double hooker? Only a little one, about three pounds, or is it, Stu? Yeah, 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 three pound, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Nice little one. Still a little good fighter, eh? Yeah. And then he's nine pounder, get your nine pounder up, let's have a look. His new PB. 
Me and you be there, yay! Worth waking me up for, yeah. I must Good admit. That. Look at that, bar of gold. Hey, listen mate. Put it this way. You'd be happy with that on the I'd road, been fishing for barbel for a year and a half before I caught something like that. Four pounders all for a year and a half. Yeah. Look at that. Superb. Look at that there. Look at that. Too nice. Too lovely barbel. Get that cradle to the edge and let's get them back. And let's yeah. film them both going back. Double backer. Double backer. Chewy, chew backer. Two backer. <laughs> Two, backer. <laughs> Two backer, yeah. Double backer. I wish it weighed both these together. So that's what. I that's what yours weighed, didn't it? Maybe? Yeah. So mine was that and then another two pound. <laughs> Listen, that nine pound is a fucking nice barble. Man. I know, it's just They're all nice barble. Yeah, but it's a joint effort, mate. Listen, it's a joint effort. We've come here and done this. That's the main thing. Embrace. Brace the barbel there, look. That's it, leave it like that and then twist them over one by one. He's going in. He is away. In a second. <laughs> How good's that? Good. Hopefully we're in for a few fish tonight, Stu. I hope so, mate. The rain just started then, didn't it? Yeah, some, somebody said to us yesterday, as soon as it starts raining, you'll get a mad hour. And bloody hell. It started raining, grey and rods peeled off. Yeah, there they go. Look at that. How good is that? There he is. Gone. Bar of gold. No, you. Come on. You're not ready yet. Nope. <laughs> it's having a bit of a sulk, I think, isn't it? Go on. You know you want to. <laughs> you think they'd just want to get away, wouldn't you? Like, because they've just been dragged onto the bank. I think. Come on. Ah, that's right there. Julio. There he goes. Whoosh. Two in quick succession, I like that. Yeah. Yay, got a PB. <laughs> Four PBs today. <laughs> Not woke Stuart up for this. Little splasher, as they call them, I think. Only a couple of pounds or something like that, I don't know. Bloody ripped off, though. Oh, come on. Come on. There we are. Another one. Not sure how many that is, seven or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. 12 o'clock at night. And then, we'll stick this one back. Still not been sleep too. Two and a half hours sleep since um, Thursday night. So I uh, need to get some sleep early. I'm going to stick this little fella back and um, hopefully get another. And here he is, Mr. Barbel himself. You're lying. I was it in there, are Mr. Barbell himself. While I've been snoozing, he's done a bit of fishing. And Lord, you look at that. Fine specimen. Oh. Was it from up from having a fish? I know. I think you've um, you've opened the gates in the nursery. Looks like three or four. Lift it right up, lad.
Oh well, Stu. Better than a bike, huh? I think that's about eight now. Yeah. It will. Rats carrying pellets from the baby to the little bastards. Whole bag? No way. <laughs> oh, yeah, naming up a full bag. Believe it. What, drag the bag? Yeah. Hey, I just went outside and I thought, I won't do me rods and I'm locked in this bag of pellets. Right, let's get her back. <laughs> there he is, caring for his girl. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I have to wish. I've just gone, I think. Caught to free. There she goes. Whoosh. <laughs> you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. So it's going on for half twelve now. It's red hot. Uh, it's too hot for the barber, I think. It must be 20 odd degrees. But the only reason I'm showing this, I'm not going to put it on the hooky mat or anything to be tiny, but. Is it? <laughs> a little chublet and my first ever one. That's the only reason I put on the video because my first ever chub I've ever had. Might have had one in the still water, but they don't count. I can't, I can't even remember having one in the still water. So, yep, first ever chub. Happy days. Rod, my, uh, my barber rod just beeped a couple of times. I was just thought oh, there's nothing on, I'll just move it. Some rubbish on the line. And uh, that was on the end. So yeah, <laughs> tiny, but my first one ever. So? Well, Stu, it's just not happened, has it, mate? Not today. Got I what? mean, we can't hang our heads in shame, can we? For nah. God's sake, the session we've had, we can't go, well, it's not happened. It's just not happened today, oh. has it? The, the sun's come out, something's happened with the, the weather, what's just put them right off today, hasn't it? Yeah, I've been bit fishing this morning and caught next to nothing, haven't we? Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's a barbell being caught today I'm, from what we've heard apart from no. that lad's this morning I think that was caught last night and he's just <laughs> left it because <laughs> yeah, it was four mile upstream from his <laughs> across all your lines wasn't yeah. it so yeah I had that. I had a pike take this morning but the bait was too big which I kind of knew before I fished for it I've had a little chublet which was my first one um, I met Oh uh, yeah, get, I put it on your lips this morning. Fast asleep. <laughs> when he was fast asleep. So he kissed me first job. Yeah. I already had a big bream, but I didn't didn't bother filming that. I didn't want to I just um dried my net out so I didn't want to scoop it out so he will not to it water. So apart from that, nothing. Two o'clock. Got going at three out, we're just gonna do it's a slow time to pat down now. Slow pat down, so I can't see anything else happening. No, nope, me neither. I'm just drinking my cup of coffee that I made at about 11 o'clock. <laughs> Is that stone, that one, yeah? Yeah, stone cold, but it's coffee. Because yeah. I've just woke up. So James got a habit of pittering and pattering around like dead loud while you're asleep. Like, oh, your missus, uh, yeah. like <laughs> clanging pans and, you know, like he wants you to get up and start doing something. All I can say is I notice how you park the van behind my bivy. <laughs> every time you open the doors and. <laughs> Oh, I tried to have a kit, well I did have a kit before, he was opening, closing doors, last night I'd just about fall asleep, decided to play the maracas with his um, chicken, his, his chicken, chicken coating, coating his chicken, bloody dancing around behind me, baby. But, we'll be back, won't we, Stu? Yeah, absolutely. We'll be back. I think what we're going to do, when we oh, finally do come back, we're going to um, try and time it where it's a bit dull and... A even bit, rainy, I know. Yeah, it's... we don't want it raining, but we just want the weather a bit, a bit khaki, don't yeah. we? Bit grumpy. It's too hot bit here, grumpy you know? weather. Yeah. This is like it feels like it's about twenty-five degrees, doesn't it? I don't know what it is, but it feels it twenty-five. It feels hotter than yesterday. Now, it's too hot to line your bit. I've just been asleep there for how long have I been out for? Two hours. Two hours, and I'm this is up. this is Stuart's fishing hard. <laughs> I've just woke up drenched. <laughs> oh dear, he was he's been fishing hard asleep. <laughs> But I've been re-chucking and I've had nothing really. So. I'll be quite honest with you though, the last two days have took it out of me. I needed that kit. I know, you've got to drive back haven't you? Listen, the drive back I'm not bothered about. It's when I get home and I've not got any energy to rub the missus's feet because that's what she's going to expect for the next two days. <laughs> yeah. Can't go fishing for three days and then go home and sleep. And ignore her. <laughs> it's absolutely that. I'll be it divorced. Gonna, it ain't going to happen no. is it? Massages, foot rubs. I'll have to 
be like a butler <laughs> taking uh, prosecco and filling a glass up. No, uh, watching watching rom coms that you don't like. Chick flicks. <laughs> Chick flicks. Yeah. Ah oh, well. So I'm gonna end it there. Um, great session, and hopefully we'll be back again next time. Yeah. Don't know where or when, but we'll be doing another one soon, won't we? Yeah. Can't great. wait. Cheers for watching anyway. See you guys. See you next time.